Hello, hello, this is Strive Funk, and today we would be watching some secondary shenanigans in the tier 9 French battleship, the Alsace. The Alsace is a BB covered with 32mm armor everywhere and has 12 380mm guns with a 32 second stock reload and 36 seconds of stock turret reverse time. But today we are not here for the main guns, we are in fact here for some secondary memes. The Alsace has 1200mm guns with a stock reload of 3 seconds on each side with a range of 7.5 km. It also has 9 152mm secondaries with a reload of 12 seconds and range of 7.5 km. This replay was given to me by my good friend JB underscore YOLO. His captain build has BFT, AFT and manual secondaries and he has all secondary based modules equipped. This build takes a secondary range to 11.3 km and brings down the reload on 100mm guns to 2.16 seconds. Now let's go and check out how he executes his unconventional meme build. Moving on to the battle, the first thing we see is this is a tier 9 top tier game with an aircraft carrier and 3 destroyers. As they are spawned on the right side, I assume that all 3 of these division mates are going to stick around on the right flank. As you can see in the minimap, the yellow line or the yellow circle shows the secondary range of uh, JB's Alsa and this is where he will try to bring most of his enemy team inside this radius in maximum secondary damage. Both the CVs are scouting and providing initial spotting on the enemy teams and the first shots are fired by the FDG on the Alsas from I guess 20 kilometers away or it could have been the Riga. Now they know he is here and he knows that there are 3 to 4 ships coming to this side. The Friedrich Der Grosse is not, is absolutely not giving any heat that JB might be shooting him and he takes a pot shot and chunks him for 11,000 HP. Now JB here is doing the smart thing. He is not supposed to rush an FDG, Riga and Richelieu. So he is just uh, getting angled and going into a kiting position. Problem solved, sir. Taking a few pot shots at the Riga, trying to dislodge him from his position near the island. If he retreats, their DDs could push up without the radar threat. At this moment, the Alsace was Pretty broadside to the FTG, but JB used his engine boost module uh, very nicely and he reversed without getting hurt. The ship is on fire. As we can see, exactly half the enemy team is coming to this side and now as JB is a secondary build battleship, he cannot tank EG spam at all. So what he will try to do is he will try to go undetected behind this island at G8 and try to minimize the number of people who can shoot at him while he gets to shoot at not more than two. He basically wants to bring down the scenario of engagement to 1v1 or maximum 1v2. He is trying to hide behind the island so that the Richelieu and Odin cannot train their primary batteries at him and he stays safe.
Now looking at the Odin's maneuvering, it looked like he's going to turn broadside and trying to disengage the Odin push too much. And I think now he realizes that he needs to disengage and turn out. So JB while reversing is trying to get a shot off on the Odin and trying to delete him in one or two salvo. Shots out, I think JB aimed a bit high, he hoped for the Odin to turn out but he didn't and instead he got 7 overpens and a pen but still considering the Odin HP is only 52,800, the 13k volley is a very solid salvo. Now as you can see the secondaries have started to open up and look at the fire rate, look at the bloody fire rate, 2.16 seconds already scored 32 hits and it will not long before it starts setting a lot of fires. Taking one more shot at him, let us see how much damage and that's another good chunk, 8000-9000 so that Odin is really low and I think he will be finished off pretty easily by his other teammates. And in the short duration of engagement he already has about 51 hits on the Odin. Now it's time to engage the Richelieu. The Ritpidu is pushing very angled at this moment, GP will not do much. I think at this moment GP is just trying to break the Ritpidu's turret and he gets hits and penetrations but unfortunately they survive. But here you see the insane secondary DPM at work, it has already set one fire that is second, 39, 50, 50 hits in like, five, in like 15 seconds of engagement. And now the Richelieu has to disengage. Popping a fighter plane as the enemy aircraft carrier is dropping him, dropping his speed and turning to the to his left so that he could dodge as many torpedoes as possible and also keeping the enemy aircraft in his A bubble for as long as possible. Still eats two torpedoes and well, some dogs just cannot be dodged. The two fires which were set on the Richelieu by Alsa's secondaries are still ticking on and now again the secondary DPM has started and not before long the Richelieu would die. And boom, here he goes. Now it time to take a pot shot at the Seattle as he is showing full broadside at 16 or 17 kilometers. He is not really giving any importance whatsoever, not paying attention to whether JB is shooting him or not. Let's see if that's a pending. With 1300 HP gone and that's the Seattle at one third HP. Now as you see, one of the DDs in the enemy team is dead, two are on farther corners, so who would be in the friendly cap? Exactly, there must be a cruiser and then there is the Edinburgh. Now if there is one thing that you don't want to fight in an Edinburgh is a battleship at 9 kilometers. Even more important is the fact that Alsace here is a second rebuilt battleship and he can absolutely shred the light cruiser Edinburgh. Let's see what the secondary armament DPM does to him. The TV tries to strike him again, so he pops his engine boost and his fighter to increase his maneuverability and he He will again try to turn out and dodge while accelerating this time so as to he can turn away from all of these stops in time. But unfortunately one hits on his ass and it's still 4000 damage. Look at the Edinburgh being absolutely shredded by the secondaries. One more reason for those engine boost is to increase speed very fast so that he can dodge any Edinburgh torque coming his way. Boom, he is gone, 100k damage done, one kill already and now it's time for the Riga to face all the shenanigans of these secondary build. Five hits, one fire and this is what I was talking about, engine boost helps him to accelerate out of the way of the Edinburgh torpedoes and he's safe. Now the Riga cannot 
really spot the Alsas, but the Riga is spotted by his friendly Jutland and now the rain of fire begins. Look at the bloody DPM on the Riga, already set one fire, he repaired, but now he's, he's set on another fire and that's a permanent one. Now this shot, I have no idea how it landed that low, but well, battleship dispersion, we have to respect that. Diga is now in a crossfire and BAM 31 secondary hits, another permanent fire on him. He is in a very bad position and he will die in the next few seconds either to the Odin's volley or the Alsaz's volley. See there, that's the third permafire on the Riga. Boom, one citadel, one citadel and the Riga is deleted from the map. Now it's time for Mr. FDG to get some of, to get hit chair of the secondary armor. The FDG, seeing that he is pushing into four people alone, is now trying to retreat and turn back. So it would be quite difficult for uh, JB here to catch him in his secondary range there. That was a ping spike, so there was a slight lag while recording, which cannot be helped. The Graf Zeppelin, however, is just casually dropping an Odin in between two tips, which are at least secondary build, which also increases your AA at least a bit. And the Odin dodges and he is pretty safe. Now if you see the rain of fire coming from left, that means the Kitagase is somewhere near FT and I think he is trying to crush the gap and maybe torp the Odin and Alsas. Let's see what he is doing. I think JB realizes the Kitagase is there and tries to move his gun towards him, but the FDG is getting low and can be easily finished. He is detected, that means the Kitakaze is somewhere in the gap and will be spo soon spotted by him. Yes, as I said, right there, somewhere near F4, F5, the Kitakaze must have dodged, must have thought the gap and now JB has to do dodge the tops. Now we don't know whether the Kitakaze has taken enough lead, but JB turns a bit right, accelerates and dodges his tops without any problem. While doing that, he also secures the kill on Mr. Friedrich de Grosser, getting him the third kill and the Confederate medal. I guess at this point JB smells blood in the ocean and now he will just try to rush down the Kitakaze. The Kitakaze has already used his torpedoes and he might have a torpedo reload booster but if JB manages to dodge it there is no one who can save the Kitakaze from him. At 5.5 kilometers, 9.5k HP, let's see what happens with this volley of 8 French EG shells. Let's see what happens. Shots out. 5 hits, half HP gone, so he must be very low at 4.5k HP. He tries to accelerate out of the way, but no, he will eat all of these torpedoes, but that's not too much of a problem with his given HP, and he still has his damage control active. So, now it's time to rush the Kitakaze, I guess, and go and take down the Graf Zeppelin with him. The Kitakaze at this point as JB is maneuvering towards left, he thinks that JB will turn left and maybe try to bring his third gun to bear. But JB is a very experienced captain and what he does is he successfully baits the Kitakaze, he turns left and is slightly right and that helps him dodge all the Kitakaze tops. Now the Kitakaze, the enemy DD alone, he has completely no help against the Alsas, he has too much HP for the Graf Zeppelin to just delete him before he can save his TD and now I guess he's pretty much dead. 900 HP, gone, gone, and that's the fourth kill and now it's time to hunt Mr. Graf Zeppelin.
Rushing through the smoke as he shot through the smoke, it is very obvious that the Graf Zeppelin is somewhere very close and most probably he is rushing him. Yes, he pops up at 7.1 kilometers. At this range, shooting AG makes a lot of sense on the Zeppelin because the citadel is very low and it is very hard to penetrate so AG might just be a better choice. But anyway, he manages to switch to AP and that's the AA defense ribbon there with 35 lane shot down and now the secondaries have started working. The Graf Zeppelin also is notoriously known for having very good secondaries but this secondary build is, um, is absolutely no match to Graf Zeppelin's top secondary. Another volley out, another huge chunk on the Graf Zeppelin and he gets his high caliber medal with the 4th kill. And I guess in a very short span of time it would be a 5th kill with a close quarters expert. The Graf Zeppelin desperately is trying to dodge and torp him and boom, game done, he got his kill. These are the battle results, so the final battle results are 183k damage with every achievement known to man with a base XP of 2347. This game was a good demonstration on how to make secondaries work. Thank you JB for the replay and I will see you next time.